Today on NBA 2K24, I am pairing up Luka Doncic with Victor Weminyama. As you can see, we're here on NBA 2K24 with the Dallas Mavericks, and something interesting on the roster now is that we have Victor Weminyama on the squad. Now, of course, the Dallas Mavericks have been incredible in real life, to say the least. They're currently in the conference finals, and at the time recording this, they've yet to play game one against the Minnesota Timberwolves. They've been really great, but I thought, why not make them even better by putting Victor Weminyama on the squad? That'd be pretty interesting to see how things would play out with him on the Dallas Mavericks, and of course, with this incredible incredible roster here and pairing up with one of the best players in today's NBA that being Luka Doncic. So if you're all ready, I'm ready. Let's get into today's video and let's get started. Let me first show you guys the rotation before we kick into things. And here's the rotation that we're rocking here in year number one. We have Luka Doncic at the one, Kyrie Irving at the two, Josh Green at the three, PJ Washington at the four, and Victor Wembanyama at the five. Game made this for me, so I'm not like stepping in to my end to do anything and just all simulated. This is what Jason Kidd in 2K24 wants. Uh, coming off the bench, we got Gafford, Derek Lively, Derek Jones Jr., and Dante Axum, of course. And you did hear me say year one because we're going to be doing three years of this challenge. The first challenge in every single year is to win MVP. This can be either Luka Doncic or Victor Wembanyama. Really, anyone on the Dallas Mavericks, I mean, I don't really think uh, P.J. Washington is going to win MVP, but hey, you never know. But that's the cha first challenge for every single year. The second challenge for every single season is, of course, to win an NBA championship. That's the main goal, but we'll see how this goes down. So, without any further ado, so let's get started. I'm going to see you guys at the end of the season here, and let's hope for the best. At the end of the season here, Luka Doncic was your MVP, averaging 34 points, 10 rebounds, and 11 assists a game this year. That's what you like to see out of Luka Doncic. So the first challenge for this year was successful as Luka won MVP. Shout out Luka Doncic for that. Victor Wembanyama, Rookie of the Year with the San Antonio Spurs. Russell Westbrook, Sixth Man with Clippers. Victor also Defensive Player of the Year. And Paul Reed is your most approved player this season. Uh, Luka Doncic is on the All-NBA First Team too. Shout out Anthony Edwards for making the All-NBA First Team as well. Uh, let's see, no Victor on any of these teams. Victor on the Spurs did make it though, unfortunately not our Victor Wembanyama. Yama. But you know what? That's okay. Oh, Luka Doncic made the first team uh, all defense. So that's what you like to see as well. Let's show the player stats here at the end of the year before we get into the postseason here. And let's see how things lined up. Luka Doncic, like I mentioned before, 34, 10, 11 this season. Absolutely crazy numbers. Kyrie had 25, 4, and 5, which is really, really good. Victor, 18 points, 10 boards a game. Still very, very good there. And 2.3 blocks a game as well. PJ Washington had 11 points a game this year. We had Gapper with 10. Josh Green had 8, Derek Jones Jr. had 7, Lively had 6, I mean very solid all around. At the end of the season, we were by far the first seed out in the Western Conference, 63-19 and 19 on the year, we were 35-7 and 7 at home, 28-12 and 12 on the road. Very, very good season, but obviously the goal isn't complete here because we got to win an NBA championship. We're going to be taking on the Pelicans here in the first round. I do believe we should be able to beat the Pelicans with ease, I mean, you never know, obviously you never know, but... But you should be able to beat them. Also, shot the Knicks being the first seed out in the Eastern Conference right there. But we're just going to simulate right through the round here and hope for the best. We do lose one game, but that's okay. So the Dallas Mavericks are going to take on the Los Angeles Clippers here in the second round of the playoffs. Just like they did in real life, except it was the first round this year. The Mavericks did beat the Clippers in six games. Let's see if the Clippers made any changes to their roster here. No, this is the exact same thing as in real life here. So let's see how this goes down here between the Mavs and the Clippers here. Hopefully we can win here in 2K24, just like they did in real life. We do end up winning here in game one 125-91 Luka 36 12 and 15 Victor had 29 15 4 that's this duo is crazy plus we still got Kyrie Irving on the squad too Luka 41 15 and 10 Kyrie had 25 5 and 5 Victor Wembanyama also had 23 points in this one we might like we might be practically unbeatable I was gonna say practically because we still did lose this game by four points so he scored 149 points he still lost Luka 43 5 14 Victor at 36 Kyrie had 34 5 and 7 but unfortunately though we still end up losing this game but we're still up 2-1 here in the series here 3-1 here in the series Paul George 33 Kyrie led the wing scoring for us this game with 39 and Luka had a big time triple double right there can we move on to the Western Conference Finals and yes we do we're going up against the Minnesota Timberwolves so hey this might be as more realistic than we think so in the east though it's Boston and Orlando so the Celtics was right no Indiana though Indiana didn't make the final way but either way let's see what happens here in the Western Conference Finals in game one against Minnesota we do end up getting job done Luka 39, 11, 15. Kyrie had 31, 4, and 10. And Josh Green shot at him for getting 18. That's a big time blowout right there. We went by 50 points. Oh, uh, that's crazy. In game two, we also get the job done. Luka 41, 12, and 7. 36 from Kyrie Irving. So like 44 from Anthony Edwards, but we're up 2 0 here in the series. Game number three here, Edwards and the Timberwolves come right back. He has he dropped 39 points in this one. Shout out to Jaden McDaniels with 23. Lost by one point. That's brutal, but you know, it is what it is. In game number four, we get the job done. We're going 
to game number five here uh, after 46 13 and 12 from luca can we get the job done in this game and yes we do luca Doncic is your western conference Final mvp averaging 40 points 13 boards and 11 assists that's crazy jalen brown was eastern conference Finals mvp and then we have the Mavericks and the Celtics in the final something that very realistically could happen in real life let's see how this goes down here well obviously victor's on the Mavs in the sim but that's not gonna happen in real life in game number one here the mavericks do win 36 11 and 9 from Luka Doncic in this one but 15 point victory over the Boston Celtics game number two here we end up winning once more 42 from Kyrie Irving 41 13 and 17 from Luka Doncic a huge victory again we're up 2-0 here over the Boston Celtics game number three here the Celtics come right back we keep losing in game number three as Tatum drops 26 lose by two points but you know it is what it is in game number four here the Celtics come right back again tatum with 28 brown 27 Porzingis 26 and 10 right there we lose by nine this one is the 2-2 series here anyone's game 3-2 here as the Mavericks win game number five 119 118 a very close game here 28 13 and 10 for luka Doncic here and 24 and 10 for kyrie irving can we win here in game number six yes we can the dallas Mavericks have won championship luka Doncic is your finals mvp 27 11 and 11 in this series that's what you like to see so both of our challenges were checked off here in year number one let's now move on to year number two and let's hope for the same exact result and the year number two Luka Doncic wins yet another MVP 33 10 and 12 the season Ron Holland is your rookie of the year with Jazz Lonzo Sickman with the Bulls hopefully he's able to play in real life saw a video of him dunking the other day Victor Romanyama defense player of the year with Dallas Mavericks that's also what you like to see and he's your most pro player too that's also pretty interesting and Edwards clutch player of the year averaging 35 a game jeez Luka Doncic and Victor Romanyama did both make the all NBA first team very very good for us Victor was on the all defensive first team as well and Luka made the all defensive second team very nice for him show the player stats here at the end of the season here before we get into playoffs luke donches 33 10 and 12 like i said before Kyrie with 25 4 and 5 this season victor women 24 and 11 somehow we i guess we drafted dillingham that's pretty good he only played 16 minutes game though but uh pj washington also had nine dillingham had 10 by the way and at the end of the season here we were the second seed out in the western conference 60 and 22 on the season we're 32 and 10 at home 28 and 12 on the road so either way i mean i see you want to be the one seed but hey you can't really complain about 60 and 22 so we're just gonna simulate right through again so we're taking on the pelicans again in the first round i do believe we should be able to beat the pelicans with ease so we're just gonna simulate right through the round right there there you have it a clean sweep of the pelicans right there let's check the player stats here for the playoffs though because i want to see how things turn out this series not in terms of that but luka Doncic 38 a game that series victor average 29 as well and Kyrie with 26 and a half let's go to the next round we're taking on the denver nuggets the denver nuggets uh, no changes to the roster these are so obviously very very good so let's see how this goes down here game one denver does win game one by score 15 points victor when you drops 29 this one though murray with 28 for denver nuggets and in game number two dallas wins game two 44 10 15 from luca 29 7 11 for kyrie irving 28 from dillingham in 16 minutes i have no idea how they even drafted him because it was one of those you know random picks that, yeah, actually i know how they drafted him victor when you have a 22 5 and 5 we scored 168 points in this game the lowest amount of points we scored was in the fourth quarter with 36 that's crazy we take game two against denver we do end up losing game three though despite murray dropped 25 against us 33 12 and 13 for luca tonchi but we lose by three in game three game four though we come right back to two series here yoke is 35 17 and 12 a huge game for him 44 from Kyrie, 34 10 14 from luka and 25 and 10 victor webman yama though we're going to game number five we end up losing here in game five despite huge performances again by our big three but yoke seems like he might be too much for us and in game number six we do end up winning here we're one win away from going to the western conference finals and we end up getting the job done we're going there in seven games at defeating the Denver Nuggets, are taking on the OKC Thunder. They got same squad Shea. I think Giddy's gonna be trading in real life, but we'll see how that goes down. Dor J Dub, Chet Holmgren, Jalen Duran coming off the bench, and they got Derrick Jones Jr. Now interesting. So in game one, we do end up losing though. Uh, only by one point, but it sucks. Also, Josh Giddy had 24-7-7 in that one game two here. The Thunder Beast once more. J Dub, Shea, huge games there. Again, Josh Giddy's killing us. 20 and 10, 13 for Luka Doncic, but we're down two nothing here. Doing a bunny here in game three. 42 15 5 2 and 6 for victor 35 8 and 13 from luca and 32 4 and 4 from kyrie irving oh my god we only won by two points but hey we got the job done here 18 assists for shay i just saw that game four we also get the job done the huge games again they're just killing it right here game number five we end up losing here in game five also hornets are in the 
finals. What? In the world? And in game number six, all oh, that sucks. The Mavericks have been eliminated by the OKC Thunder. Shays, your Western Conference Finals MVP. Lamelo, Eastern Conference Finals MVP. Who's on this Hornet squad, though? I have no clue. Lamelo, Spock, up. Brandon Miller, Miles Bridges, James Wiseman. Mark, this is the team that made the finals out of every single team out in the East. I don't think they have a chance against the Thunder. And yeah, they're, the Thunder have won the championship. Jay's Rounds MVP. So we did get the MVP with Luke Doncic, but unfortunately, though, we ended up not being able to win the NBA Finals. Either way, we've got one year left in this challenge. Let's hope for the best. I'll see you guys shortly. And the year number three, Luke Doncic wins yet another MVP. 32, 10, and 12 this season for him. Cooper Flag with the year with the Lakers. He's also the sixth man of the year with the Lakers, too. Victor Defense Player of the Year with the Mavs. That's what you'd like to see right there. Trey Young is your most improved player as well. I should say your clutch player, my bad. And at the end of the season, let's share the player stats here first before we get into the playoffs and everything just one last time before the end of the video 31 10 and 12 so close to the triple double for Luka Doncic 25 10 and 5 for Victor Roman Jan pretty much three box game Kyrie Irving also had 22 points a game this year again we're the second seed three games back behind the OKC Thunder at 66 and 69 a year still very very good season to say the least uh, I do believe we should be able to beat all these teams pretty easily i well i'd hope uh so let's start off with the lakers here the lakers still got a solid squad but i do think we though we can beat them so we might lose a game but yeah we lose one game but we're going to the next round take on the houston rockets in the next round they got fred here and then thompson came with march bars with junior and sangoon jalen green they have a solid squad but i do think that we can get the job done against them yep we lose one game against rockets but again here's our matchup here against the okc thunder let's see how this goes down i'm going to simulate right through the round because i think we should be able to have a close matchup against them ahead you never know what's gonna happen here and we end up losing in seven i knew it was gonna be close i should pause it but i'm bad dallas max have been eliminated here the thunder and the celtics here in the finals and the thunder end up winning here shays your finals mvp so unfortunately we um, couldn't get the job done here in back-to-back -back years the thunder get the job done but you know it is what it is so hope you all enjoyed today's video be sure to like subscribe for future content if you want me to tune up any other players for free let me know down in the comment section below if not have a great day and i'll see you next time